Good day, math learners! Welcome to another fun and exciting episode where you will surely enjoy Why Learning. I am your teacher training math guide, Sir Arby. Let us once again explore and learn math the fun way. In this episode, our target is to apply the distance formula to prove some geometric properties. First, we need to recall the distance formula. Can you perfectly state the distance formula? Amazing! The distance formula is d equals the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. Let us try to solve this problem. Your mother sends you an errand to buy 1 kilo of rice from a store nearby. If your house is located at A, 5, 9, and the store is located at B, negative 7, negative 7, how far will you walk to reach the store? So, how far is your house from the store? Wow, you got it right! It's 20 meters. By using the distance formula, you were able to find the distance of your house from the store. Is the distance formula useful in real life? If your answer is yes, you are right! The distance formula is very useful when finding the distance between places. We just calculate the coordinates of each place and substitute the values into the formula. Now, let us try to solve more problems by applying the distance formula to prove geometric figures. When Pag-asa announced that there is an approaching severe tropical storm, Hana went to an evacuation center at E33 to secure a place for her family. She went back to her house at H57, packed her things, and went to her cousin's house at C86 to inform her to evacuate. How far is the evacuation center from Hannah's house? What is the distance traveled by Hannah going to her cousin's house? How many kilometers did they travel to reach the evacuation center from her cousin's house? What figure is formed in the route of Hannah? Let us locate the different coordinates in the problem. What are the coordinates of point E? 3, 3. What are the coordinates of point H? 5, 7. To find the distance of EH, use the formula. D equals the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared and apply the step-by-step -step procedure. Step 1. Find the difference between coordinates. x sub 2 minus x sub 1 equals 5 minus 3 equals 2. y sub 2 minus y sub 1 equals 7 minus 3 equals 4. Step number 2. Square the results and sum them up. 2 squared plus 4 squared equals 4 plus 16 equals 20. Last step is step number 3. Find the square root and that's your result. Square root of 20 equals the square root of 4 times 5 equals 2 the square root of 5 kilometers. Therefore, the distance of EH is 2 the square root of 5 
kilometers. Next, let us find the distance of HC. What are the coordinates of point H? 5, 7. What are the coordinates of point C? 8, 6. To find the distance of HC, use the formula and apply the step-by-step -step procedure. Step 1. Find the difference between coordinates. X sub 2 minus X sub 1 equals 8 minus 5 equals 3. Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 equals 6 minus 7 equals negative 1. Step number 2. Square the results and sum them up. 3 squared plus negative 1 squared equals 9 plus 1 equals 10. Last step, step number 3. Find the square root and that's your result. Square root of 10 kilometers. Now, let's find the distance of CE. What are the coordinates of point C? 8, 6. What are the coordinates of point E? 3, 3. To find the distance of CE, use the formula and apply the step-by-step -step procedure. Step number 1. Find the difference between coordinates. X sub 2 minus X sub 1 equals 3 minus 8 equals negative 5. Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 equals 3 minus 6 equals negative 3. Step number 2. Square the results and sum them up. Negative 5 squared plus negative 3 squared equals 25 plus 9 equals 34. Step number 3. Find the square root and that's your result. Square root of 34 kilometers. Now, tell me, what geometric figure is formed? Yes, it is a triangle. What kind of triangle is formed? Correct! It is an escaline triangle. Based from the given example, these are the steps in applying the distance formula to prove geometric figures. Step 1. Determine the coordinates of the given points. Step number 2. Find the distance between two points by using the distance formula. Step 3. Determine the geometric figure formed. After learning the applications of the distance formula to prove some geometric properties, let us test if you really learn in this episode. Before we begin, make sure that you have a pen, paper, and a calculator for your computations. Just relax and recall what we learned today to answer the questions correctly. Are you ready? Let us now begin. Aiko, Francis, and Jimmy live in three different places. The location of their houses are shown on a coordinate plane below. How far is Aiko's house from Francis' house? A. 7.62 kilometers. B. 8.94 kilometers. C. 9.84 kilometers. And D. 11.40 kilometers. If your answer is B, 
You are correct. Number 2. How far is Francis' house from Jimmy's house? A. 7.62 kilometers. B. 8.94 kilometers. C. 9.84 kilometers. And D. 11.40 kilometers. Amazing! The answer is A. Number 3. How far is Aiko's house from Jimmy's house? A. 7.62 kilometers. B. 8.94 kilometers. C. 9.84 kilometers D 11.40 kilometers Wow! You got the correct answer! It's D! Number 4. What geometric figure is formed? A. Triangle B. Square C. Trapezoid D. Parallelogram Fabulous! The right answer is A. Number 5. What kind of triangle is formed? A. Isosceles triangle B. Scalene triangle C. Equilateral triangle and D. Right triangle Excellent! The answer is B. Your excellent performance in our quiz shows that you have mastered our lesson for today. Congratulations, dear math learners! That ends our discussion in applying the distance formula to prove some geometric properties. I hope that you learned a lot and continue solving more problems related to distance formula. Always remember that learning math is not hard. It is just perseverance plus dedication equals knowledge.
Again, I am Teacher Training Math Guide Sir Arby. See you again next time in another learning episode.